Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to film playing with new products. So behind, so I'm going to do a new palette that is in my collection and a new foundation that has not been on my channel yet and I hope you guys enjoy. So the palette I want to use is this guy. Got it in the mail. <laughs> kind of crazy packaging. This is the paint palette by Glamlight and I think this is just the packaging. It's not like a PR box or anything. It's just that fancy. So here it is. It says, Introducing Paint Palette, the most viral and epic makeup product of our generation. So it's very nice. Um, it opens up like this. I'm sure you guys have seen this. Okay, so basically I wasn't going to get this because it's ridiculous. But I love Glamlight's formula. And this just happened to be their newest palette, and I thought, why not? I probably won't purchase anything from them soon after this, because I have their burger palette, their taco palette, paint palette. I got all the palettes, so here's what it looks like. And then it opens up like this, and everyone's like, oh, it looks like a... Easel. I don't actually know how to hold these. This folds all the way back, which is great. Um, but I was just really attracted to all the fun colors and the primary mattes in here. I just thought I'd be able to create some really fun looks with this. So I'm very, very excited. Probably don't need anything else if you have this palette in your life. So there's that. I usually use my Makeup Revolution Cut Crease Canvas Base, but I don't know you guys, should I try the Anastasia? I got this mini like test size, I think because I ordered the foundation. I think we should try it. What the heck? I'm just going to use it like all over the lid, um, not like for cut crease or anything. This is the perfect amount for me to try this out because I was so interested. I'm just going to squeeze it on my arm, on my hand. I was interested to buy a mini during the sale. And then I like talked myself out of it because I was like, you know, why don't you just try the sample? Since you got a sample, try the sample. And then if you love it, you can pick it up, you know in a full size at the next sale <laughs> but you know even if I like it doesn't mean I need to buy it like I want to like finish up my cut crease and I have so many other primers that work just fine too but the cut crease is the one I like grab for all the time um, and it's been working really well um, most of, uh, somebody actually asked me, messaged me on Instagram and asked me what shade I have in the Makeup Revolution primer and it's the shade medium. I feel like it's very light so if you want one that's like, if you're tan and you want one that's like your skin tone, I would maybe try the shade. I think they have a shade called Deep that's the darkest, otherwise medium is pretty much like white when I blend it. So. Just keep that in mind. And I've been cleaning my house all day. I haven't done anything fancy. Um, so that's why I look like pretty simple. <laughs> Hope you guys don't mind. And I've been using a lot of my like Sonia G brushes and stuff like that. So I wanted to just grab my clean brushes and just use some different kinds of brushes. This is kind of like a mishmash. I kind of want to go through these brushes and get rid of some of them so I think if I use them in videos that will kind of give me an idea of what I want to keep around so I like to start with a crease color I really want to use the shade light green um and the shade green Ooh, I should try the yellow let's try the yellow in the crease so I'm gonna go in with the Morphe M412 and dip into the shade yellow. I'm still on the hunt for a tan girl friendly yellow. Um, 
so we'll see how this turns out because the ColourPop Yellow palette wasn't vibrant enough for me. I honestly don't know what people use to make shades like pop extra hard on tan skin tones. I guess I could do research about it, but I'm just like, if it's not natural, then it probably isn't like, you know, effective like an everyday technique for people. And I feel like I very much do my makeup as I would every day on my channel. I don't do Instagram, YouTube tutorials. I do, you know, chit chatty, get ready with me type videos. I'm not like creating art on my channel. And so I hope you guys kind of like can understand my channel's vibe. I think most of you do. You guys are so positive and sweet. Um, I feel like we have such a great community here on my channel. So I'm just rambling, but I do appreciate that so, so much from you guys. And also, um, thank you to everyone I had mentioned in my Ulta video that was my mom's birthday. And so many of you were so kind and said happy birthday to her, which I thought was really, really sweet. Um, she... I think she had a good birthday. Um, she wasn't here, obviously. She's back home, but that's okay. She'll probably be back here um, next year and probably will be able to spend her birthday with her. So, again... It's a vibrant yellow, but is it the most vibrant yellow? No, um, but it's not It's not bad. I don't hate it. Um, and now I want to tuck into, I really just want to use the matte green. Um, okay, I'm just gonna do my college colors. <laughs> you guys know I love a good green eyeshadow, of course. So I'm just gonna tuck that in the outer half and blend it into the yellow. Actually, I think I'll add, um, I think I'm going to add a little bit of royal blue just to deepen up the outer corner. Ooh, I really like how that looks. So now I really want to go into the shade light green, which is a beautiful shimmer shade. Um, and I want to apply that kind of like all over the lid. I'm wondering if I'm going to need a glitter glue or not. Um, let me swatch. Ooh, that's pretty. Mmm. Mmm. Delicious. Actually, what I should do is I'm going to grab a flat shader brush. This is one by Luxie. I'm going to go into this shade called Gold. Just in the inner part where I have the yellow tucked in to the crease, you know? There's quite a bit of yellow um, fallout on my um, face. But I usually like to do my eyes first for that reason. Because I don't have to clean up the fallout. <laughs> with um, Or like, you know, try to put powder on my face to catch it. Um, this gold probably could have used a glitter glue. Um, but let's go to light green, which is the color I really wanted to use anyway. I think what I'm going to do is spray the brush. Just to help, like, glide on, you know? So, and my lids are, like, hella dry, too, so... I definitely look like an NDSU Bison fan, so that's good. And I'm just gonna use a little wet wipe to clean up under my eyes. And then I'm gonna do foundation. And yeah, I'll show you guys that on camera as well. 
Okay, so I'm gonna go in with the Fenty Beauty new Pro Filter Hydration Longwear Foundation, and I have been using this pretty much the whole week. Um, I really like it. I like this tube. I think this is gonna be really great to travel with um, because I'm going on a trip at the end of this week, and so I'm really excited. And I like it. At first, I thought it wasn't enough coverage, but I just layered on more, and then it was just fine. I really like the shade match. I just went with my same shade match in the Pro Match, which is 370. So if you guys have a similar skin tone to me, I have the shade 370. And it's been working pretty great I would say and it's lasted well through like work day and stuff like that so I haven't really had any complaints with it I've been trying so many foundations out recently none of them are bad though that's the thing it's like when like I don't know how these people are doing ranking videos because I'm like I don't like I don't know I I don't feel like from, so I've tried four so far, Pat McGrath, ABH, um, Fenty, and the Urban Decay. This one. And I like them all. Um, I really, really do. I don't know that I like one better than the other um, for any particular reason, so I'm still trying to figure that out. And then the last foundation that launched recently that I've been dying to try is the um, Charlotte Tilbury foundation and that just launched at Sephora. So I am excited to pick that up. So yeah, this is what the foundation looks like on me. I don't think it's like a dewy foundation. It's just like a more hydrating version of her matte foundation, um, which... I have no complaints about and I like how it wears I like the matte one too so I just I'm just glad she gave people more options kind of what they wanted um because the matte one can be pretty drying so I can understand why she did another version but yeah I think this is a good shade match I did get really dark um yesterday because I was on a boat but I want to finish up the rest of my face and I will be right back Okay, I thought I would maybe not film the rest of my face, but I figured why not. So I really like the Fenty concealer when I first got it, and I got it this January. I feel like mine's really, like, the formula's gotten really dry. I almost feel like I should just throw this away and use something else. But it's, like, really dry feeling, like, just the way it comes out of the tube and stuff. Feels really, really dry. Have you guys noticed that about yours? I've been trying to store it like upright just to see if like I'm just like low on product or what it is. But it's been really weird. Or like I feel like it's just been for me, it just feels extra dry compared to how it was when I first got it. I still love the coverage it gives me. Um, it's one of my favorite concealers, like, of all time now, so, yeah, I don't know, I'm just wondering if you guys had noticed that. Favorite powder is the ABH powder, oh, I love this, I love how big this container is, um, just really lets me get in, I should bake. I really never like bake anything um and this is like one of those that'll actually make it easy for me to bake because I can pick up so much product um with a big brush because of how big this container is I don't know that you get more product than other powders I haven't compared but you must because this is huge like it's a big container so really like that and I picked this up in the shade of banana I've shown this in a video already I believe um, but if I haven't you know now 
And I've just been sticking to the same face stuff. I told you guys in my Sephora video that I am on a mission to pan this. So sorry if this is boring. This is NARS Casino. Look at, I mean, that's such a beautiful bronzer shade for me. I love how easily it blends. And I'm so ready to pan this guy because I've had it for a long time. And it deserves to be used up because it is a good product. And yeah, I'm so happy that uh, I own it. <laughs> so love that. And then before I continue on with my face, I want to finish up my under eye. I grabbed this um, Urban Decay pencil. This is Electric Empire. It's one of their new glittery ones. Just adding that to my waterline. It goes really well with this eye look and then I want to go back in here and um there's still some stuff left on my brush though so actually I'm just gonna pull that gold Ooh, I could be a little extra when I'm just filming for YouTube I'm not actually doing anything after this so I really like how that gold pops on my inner corner and there's this beautiful white shade and then I want to go into light green I'm using a flat shader brush which is not usually the preferred tool and just to be extra I want to take the same brush and pop a little bit of the white into my brows my brows need serious help, like very serious help. <laughs> They're so overgrown. I was so broke this month, I had to sacrifice my brows, which is fine. Living my best life. And, okay, blush. There's only one, guys. There's only one blush for me. And only one blush brush, too. Um, this is the Morphe E4 and my baby Genesis. I honestly think this is too light for me, but I don't even care because it's so pretty. And Melt is also coming out with, did you guys see the new blush they're coming out with for their radioactive collection? It's called Gamma Ray. Um, and she just talked about it in her Will I Buy It video. And I was like, yes, queen. <laughs> We're both eyeing it. Um, I love a good peachy anything. And that one has like three shades and then you can like mix them together as well. So I'm really pumped about that. Okay, so for highlighter, I went back to an oldie um, the other day just for fun. This is the Milani Strobe Light in Glowing 04. This is um, one of the, they came out with four shades initially. I think they've added more. This was the darkest shade when it first came out and it's so so pretty and it's well loved in my collection and it's drugstore it's like under what uh, it's under ten dollars for this highlighter and I hadn't used it in a while and I was like you know what I was like looking for a neutrally highlighter the other day it's very gold so if you're light, might be a little too dark, but I have all of the first four original shades of this highlighter. And I've just been like bathing in it recently. So, um, and then like I just gave you guys a spiel about how I do my makeup like every day. But really this is, how much highlighter I put on because you know it wears out through the day so it's fine and then I've been trying to use up this Kat Von D uh, locket spray <sighs> perfect and 
gonna do a little drugstore lippy option. I picked this up at the drugstore. This is Super Stay Ink Crayon by Maybelline in the shade. I have no idea. Oh, here it is. Okay, it is Live on the Edge. I really like this. It's such a cute color. Isn't this a pretty color? Such a great fall lip option. Really comfortable. Not really used to using. It kind of looks messy, but that's okay. I think. I don't know. Maybe it was a little dramatic. I should. Maybe I should have gone um, with a more nude shade um, for this eye look. And then I wanted to top it off with a gloss because my lips have been really, really chapped. So this is Flesh 4 from Pat McGrath. Wow, I like really... Just don't look at it very closely. Okay, so basically done. Just need to put on some mascara. Um, so let's do that as well on camera. Um, I've been trying out the bad girl bang mascara i talked about it in another video didn't i how i bought it because in its makeup corner like raves about it and i didn't like it the first time i used it but after a few goes it like thickened up and now i really like it i don't know if i'd buy it again though i'm trying not to be that person that is like hooked on high-end mascaras but I swear this makes me feel like I have false lashes on which is a good thing right and it's so funny because I told my co-worker I bought those moxie lashes you know with the magnetic eyeliner and she's like oh are you still using your lashes and I'm like yeah so, update. I haven't really been using them, but I thought I'd use them more for, like, filming, but it's just not me. You know, maybe if, like, YouTube was my full-time gig, I could see myself, like, you know, if I had to test out lashes for you guys, um, or, like, reviews and stuff, me wearing them more, but since that's not my journey... Currently, I'm so happy with like just rocking my real lashes. You know what I mean? So here it is. It is the final look. What do you guys think? Do you like it? It's a little bit dramatic. The lip, I should have probably gone. I thought it was going to be more neutral, but that's okay. And I really wanted to play with this palette because... I've had it now for a hot second and it's probably already swiftly becoming old news on YouTube but let's swatch it quick um, because I feel like I haven't done a swatch party in forever for you guys like I don't know you know sometimes I feel like I don't know I know people really like swatch parties because it helps them out um, but sometimes my instinct when I get a palette and if I have time is to film a whole look for you guys so you can see it perform on my eyes um, but I think there's value for swatches too so here are the first five shades so we have coral fuchsia purple and navy blue I think this is such a pretty color story as well as just those five shades so there they are okay so the next shades these are the two mattes I used on my eyes today and I just really was attracted to that green so I wanted to try it out so we have green yellow orange red and burgundy and then there's two mattes left we've got brown and black really simple brown black there you go so those are all the matte shades in the paint palette and then to swatch the shimmers i think i'm going to switch arms show you guys those swatches there's six shimmer shades so here are the first five this is white 
gold, light green, turquoise, and sapphire. Ooh, I love white. It's like a light gold. On my tan, these look awesome. And then let me grab that last color, which is violet. Ooh, these feel nice. Wow, look at that. So that's violet. So we have white, gold, light green, turquoise, sapphire, and violet. Which I think like sapphire and violet are not that different tonally. Maybe they could have thrown in like a pink shimmer. That could have been kind of fun. Um, especially because I don't think I have a pink shimmer in any of my other palettes. Like the taco or the burger. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to show you guys swatches as well since we played with the palette. So that is pretty much it. I like the palette. I kind of regret buying it only because of the size. I don't see myself, you know, holding on to this palette forever and ever and ever. Let me know if you guys would like to see more looks with this palette. Um, I could definitely, you know, throw something else together, maybe play with some of the purple-blue combinations, but I just wanted to kind of show you guys a little look, a little first impressions. Like I said, I hadn't played with this yet, so just wanted to show you guys how that worked on my skin. And then this I have been really enjoying. I picked it up the first day of the sale at in the store, so... I was able to test it out for quite some time and I'm happy I was able to grab it on sale and I will definitely use this up in my collection. So that is everything from me. Let me know your thoughts on the Glam Light paint palette. Did you guys pick this one up? I'd be so curious to know what you think of this guy down in the comment section. So I will see you in my next video and thank you guys for watching. Bye!